Hi, my name is David Heatley and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about how to prepare your bike for transport for the RACV Great Victorian Bike Ride. Now Bicycle Network, they offer transport for you and your bike, but it's mass transport, so it pays to protect your bike while it's in transport. Now regardless of how you get to the start site, here are some tips to help you out. Now the best protection is in a proper bike case. Now Bicycle Network can transport your empty case from the start site to the finish whilst you're riding the event. And this is organised at the start site for a donation to Rotary of $30. Now here's an example of a soft case. Now this is the bag that I'm going to be using for the RACV Great Victorian Bike Ride. And as you can see, it compacts down to quite a small space and it's easy to manage and it also is really good at protecting bikes. Now if you're not going to be boxing your bike or using a hard case, you'll need to prepare it for transport. So here are some tips to help you out. Now you'll need to protect the sensitive parts of your bike, the derailleur and the suspension etc. with bubble wrap and cardboard. Now it's important that you keep this protective material small so you can pack it down into your bag and use it again at the finish. Now avoid using a cardboard bike box as a disposable one-way form of transport. Look there's a lot of waste at the start site when you do this. Now another thing that you'll need to do is turn your handlebars at 90 degrees and how we do this is that we loosen off the handlebar stem then we turn the handlebars to 90 degrees and then we tighten up the handlebar stem. Now there's two different types of handlebar stems that bikes have, the older type and the newer type. So to turn your handlebars at 90 degrees, you'll need to loosen off the two bolts on your handlebar stem. So that's this bolt here and then the one on the other side. You just loosen those off and the bolt on the other side And also you want to loosen off the bolt on the top plate. And once those are all loosened off, you're then able to swing your handlebars at 90 degrees. And once it's in that position, you want to tighten them up again. So there you go. Now to do an older style bike, you just need to grab the Allen key and put it in the top of the stem and just loosen loosen that off and that bolt will wind out a little bit, don't do it all the way out and then you just need to tap the top of it and that will release it and then you'll be able to turn your handlebars at 90 degrees. Now once they're there you just need to tighten up that allen key and they'll stay in place, like that. Now it's also important to make sure that you take the pedals off your bike before you put it on this mass transport. Now taking the pedals off your bike is a fairly simple procedure, but the most important thing to remember is that the thread on your right pedal is different to the thread on your left. So one goes one way and the other goes the other way. Now if you've got Allen keys on your pedals, then this is the way to do it. What you want to do is get your Allen key and get your pedal crank in about this sort of position. Then slot your Allen key into it and just use your foot to undo the pedal, just like that. And then that pedal will come out by just unwinding it. Now it's the same for the other side. Now to take the pedals off using a normal pedal spanner, you want to get your cranks into the right position and then turn that pedal spanner back towards the bike and that'll just release off and you just wind it out.
Now once you've got your pedals off your bike, you just get your cable tie, put it through both pedals, and then just thread it through the cranks of your bike, and then just attach it there and then cut the cable like that. So once you've got your bike in this position, it's important to wrap up the sensitive parts of your bike. Now to do this, you want to get your bubble wrap and your cardboard and your wrapping tape. once you've got this sorted out just pack up your tools so you've got them paired to use at the other end when you've finished your ride. Now the sort of tools that you'll need to do this are a multi-tool, a pedal spanner, allen keys, a cable cutter, cable ties and sticky tape. Now while your bike's in a state it's going to be picked up by bicycle network and they'll transport it for you. So when you get to the start site you'll need to prepare your bike to ride it again. So you'll loosen off your headset and then return it to its original position. So to return your handlebars back to the original position, you want to unloosen these bolts again. Swinging your handlebars, and you want to swing your handlebars back to their original position and make sure that your handlebars are lined up with your front wheel. And then you tighten up the two bolts on your handlebar stem just lightly. Then you get the allen key on your top plate here and just tighten it up until it's firm. And by doing so that compresses the stack, the headset stacked and compresses the bearings together to stop them from being loose. And then once that's firm you then continue tightening up the bolts on your handlebar stem on either side. Now to return your handlebars back to the normal position you want to undo that allen key bolt just out a little bit. Again you'll probably need to tap it to release it and then return your handlebars to the normal position. Make sure that they're lined up with your front wheel and do that allen key up again. Then you'll need to fit your right and left pedals. Just thread it in. Make sure that the left pedal is on the left crank. They do have different threads. And you just want to thread it in a little bit. And then once it starts taking, just put your pedal spanner on it. And just back pedal like that. and then tighten it up. Now you don't need to over tighten pedals. You just need to tighten them up so that they're firm. Same again on the other side. And then tighten it up nice and firm. And there you go. Now once you've done that, check your gears and brakes and make sure they're working okay in a short ride before you head off for the main event. Now if you are having problems assembling your bike, there are mechanics at the start site and the Warbies there can help you too. Now remember you'll need your packing material again when you've finished your ride so that you can pack your bike up after you're done. So here are some key messages. Know how to do it yourself whether it's a bike box that you're using or just basic preparation and practice it before the ride. Also come to the transport depots pre-prepared. Don't do your preparation at the Southern Cross station. Be prepared with the tools and equipment that you'll need at the other end. 
and make sure that you protect your bike to avoid disappointment on the ride. Now I hope you found these tips informative and I wish you all the best on the RACV Great Victorian Bike Ride. My name is David Heatley from Cycling Informed.